both sets today is going down to the very last player. Whoa, what? Why every time Kawano come on the screen, it's some weird character this fella's play, bro. First it was Vega, now it's Lucia. I think this fella, bro, I'm about to say, Kawano be watching my YouTube videos, bro. He played the weird characters that I like to play. Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Punk, and I'm back with another video. And today we are Punk Reacts because you know we are watching that Street Fighter League Japan, the Daigos, all, the, all your favorite Japanese players, you know, they be trying to watch each other in this tournament. That's why we like to watch and react and give our thoughts. Without further ado, you already know what I'm about to tell you. Go like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on. And let's get into it. Team, dumb guys, you already know them versus Sai Shuken Soul, which is Nemo's team. And they're sending, or Haguchi is playing Tokido first match. This is interesting. If there's someone capable of beating Luke and of Tokido, it's definitely this fella, Higuchi. This kid is, look, check. Or oh, that was actually a punish to the dash. I would say check, but he punished the dash and converted. Like, this fella is just a rising young star, bro. He just be killing the vets, bro. Happy I'm over here in America. I ain't got to deal with that, bro. Oh, my God. Tokido tried to take the walk of faith. He thought Higuchi had respect. I told you he ain't got no respect for y'all, bruh. I don't think he would kick the cane from under anybody, but he is ruthless in the game. I ain't gonna lie. This fella, he'll do whatever it takes to get that W. And he is exciting to watch. And he's watching Tokido right now. I might have not talked about the match too much, but it's kind of self-explanatory what's been going on. Higuchi just been piecing him up from far. He can't get in. Tokido has not got a good read on anything so far. Oh. But here we go. Good confirmed. So much damage. Oh, no way. Hold on, hold on. Sheesh. I don't care that he lost the round, but this was sick here. Look at that reaction into the combo. He could probably kill it there because he could have did a bigger combo and got the stun probably, but Tokido not really about them hard loop combos, but that's what happens when you don't do them. You get back thrown, lose, and the kid pops off. Oh, body. You're dead. Okay. Uh, what? Why? What, what's going on? Bro, they cool. <laughs> what is this? And then this punish? That was a sick ass punish from Tokido. And then the cross cut flash? What? Tokido need to go back to stake, bro. He gotta get off that hitbox. It's infecting his brain. Not for the better either. We know you play loop, but we don't care. Oh, you could do that? I didn't even know you could do low forward and just stand light kick on counter hit. That was sick. Yeah, Luffy have him up. Scared, bruh. How you get out? You need to confirm. You want to confirm? Oh, he didn't get it. He got the run by accident there. And look at that. I told you to pop off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. I'm with you. I'm all, I'll am i pop off with you in the camera, too. Bro, don't tell me this is a Dalsum mirror. Is that what I just seen? Is that really the only way to beat Dalsum? You got to send the Dalsum up? No way they doing this, right? Is that what I seen? Oh, my God. No way I'm about to see a Dalsum mirror match. Why would they do this on purpose? This is how you know this character, Chief. He can only be himself. I'm all with it, though. I'm all for it. Random mirror match. What do you do? Like... They finally Dawson could play neutral. Like this is actual, we'll see what it looked like if two Dawson players had to play neutral with everyone else. This is what it looks like. Ooh, nah, Tori Messi said, I know how to play nooch. He said, it's not just cause these normals are longer than everyone else's, this shit is real. I'm sorry, I ain't mean a curse, but that's how you know it's getting real. I'm getting hyped. Nah, why is Mochi is battling back? He's trying to keep the title as best Japan. Oh, no. Is it jump back like, ah, even you fall for the yoga sniper. We all fall for it. <laughs> Bro, why'd he just get hit? Ooh, and he said, I'm gonna go low. 
He said, I'm gonna go low because you think you know. Hold on now. Oh, nice punish on the trip guard, knowing the ranges of Dawson. Oh, and the V-shift break back to punish. Yo, Jared, thank you for the 23 month, bro. This is everyone's worst nightmare, but why is he mochi? Honestly, his mirror match kind of exciting. They rushing each other down. Bro, he needs to just get the combo. This is a Dawson mirror match. You don't need to take the Oki like that. If you go and put Dawson... Oh, and you slid? Why? Okay, it might be over. About to get a perfect... Body. Ba -ba 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 body. I just think Sako has been playing really good in Street Fighter League so far. Oh, look. And as I'm talking, look at that big combo. That's punish? No. What? That recovered? You're not dead. You're not dead. Oh, my God. Where is the scaling on that? Could be game. Oh, that's not game. Oh, and the combo drop. This and this kill? I don't think so. Might just super though, just cause we want to put it. I don't think that's enough, but I agree with the super because now Nemo has to get in. But this might. Oh, it's going to kill. No, it's not. Okay, Nemo still has to get in, and he oh he has the second mirror now. Yeah, just keep the ball there. Oh, wow. The stand light kick. Mm, nice. Yeah. This is looking very grim for our man Nemo right now. V trigger? No. Okay. Hold on. Save the trigger. Oh, no. He missed the punish. Got it that time, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, he has the corner. Oh, wow, what a combo. No, it does not reach. Oh, and he punished the dash. Uh, Sako with the quick 3-0 over Nemo and taking the 20 points for the team and getting a 30-point win for the team over Saishuken Soul. And now we have good 8 squad versus... Mildom? Oh my god. That's how Fugera just started off. Hold on. This is one of Daigo's demon characters. Tokido has watched him with Balrog. Fugera's been doing him dirty with Balrog. Smug used to do him dirty with Balrog. This is Daigo's demon character 100%. Oh, what a shimmy. And the overhead. That's death? I don't... Think so? Because of the scaling? Nah, it won't kill. No way. Hmm. Still, this Varog is a thorn in Daigo's side, bro. It's, it's just, he can't get it out, bro. Pugera's definitely just waiting to get a big super. Yeah, now got that gray elf one stand fair super. One reaction, boom, to a super. Oh, no. Mm. Daigo somehow staying alive there. I think Pugera should have just backed up and just tried to look for a super. Now Daigo's on the offensive. Punish the dash there. Back throw. And now pretty much close this round out. Not really much you can do if you die go. Mm, jump back like it. Right, this man coming down to the wire. And Daigo finally has a uh, lead in it in the set. Now that's a big lead. Is Daigo going to conquer his demon? Check the dash. Body, the crouching shorts. Damn. Daigo just played 
You know, he just stayed in it. He did not give up. There's a lot of heart there from Daigo. So we got Akira versus Dogra. I like this. But Dogra has been playing very good at Street Fighter League. His only weakness had been to jump ins, honestly, which is why I don't think this is the best matchup for him. But he's playing the neutral really well. We got a Kara missing confirms. If you get a Kara missing confirms, you're doing something real good. Hmm, stand medium kick the closer. Okay, Dogra taking game one, showing why he is going up against the Cami. Uh-oh, we already know how it go when you put the Christmas outfit on. Why does a Kara do this? Why well, just don't start with the Christmas outfit on? Huh. Us mortals aren't worthy of the costume? Look at... I'm telling you, when this costume come on, it's a different person takes the stick. DP, look. The DPs wasn't even coming out last time. Drill? Oh my god. How'd I know? I just knew he would do it because he just looked like he in his own. When he picked this costume, he in his element. Nice anter ear from Dogra, though. Oh my god. What a shimmy. Had my man Dogra. Dogra was like... He was reaching. He said, uh... And another anti ear. Dogra is honestly shutting down. Oh wow, he just looked nah. That was that was villainous, bro. After the back dash, he just stood there. He just stands there, crazy. Oh, court the. Mm, that might be it. That was not a good DP there. And drop the combo. Yeah. Do we got one of them classic Akira comebacks? And we see so many times Akira make these. Still jumping to the very end. And a throw, bro. Dogra already had this stick up. As soon as he saw the animation of the throw, Dogra already was putting the stick down. Sheesh. Both sets today is going down to the very last player. Whoa. What? Why every time Kawano come on the screen, it's some weird character this fella's play, bro. Kawano always playing some weird character. First it was Vega, now it's Lucia. I think this fella, bro, I'm about to say, Kawano be watching my YouTube videos, bro. He played the weird characters that I like to play. I had to pause it to talk about this because I just don't know why Kawano, and Kawano's going last in his match, so it's something we don't know about this. There's no way you go up last on a 20-point match and you pick Lucia. Something we've never seen. And we all know Shfudo is a habitual attacker. Look, teched again. If that's the plan to get big damage on Fudo teching, oh, we'll, we'll punish. Oh, hold on. This Lucia is looking... Oh, no DP. I don't know what that was. Looked like a flame kick. Whiff punish, yep. That is one good thing in the matchup, and Kawano showing it off early. You can whiff punish the whips with that nice confirm. You could whiff punish the whip with EX run kick. Punish and super, yep, nice. Okay. This Lucia kind of looking fresh. Damn, got Fudo going back to character. So, like, you got to figure out why there's Lucio on the screen. I felt that. You got to go back and ask your teammates some questions. Like, why do you pick this? Are you, is he okay? And the shimmy. That's not going to kill, but it's close. Oh, I think Fudo wanted to reach uh, viewer versus, but Kawano messed up the meaty. But this is looking very, very free. The matchup is def- Oh my, with the buffer. DP, okay, it hit on the other side. Fudo could have blocked it. Oh nah, we getting crazy. Yeah, Kawano feeling it. Mmm. Sheesh. This is so free. He hasn't won a round. I don't even know if he's got close to winning a round. Nice. That's not going to kill, but it's stun. Bro. Yeah, good A squad just are just amazing, bro. 
Sheesh, that was free. What the hell? Toronto definitely knows something, bro. That was six rounds straight, no round brown right there at in a three out of five. You got no rounds. Damn. Yeah, this is coming to the end of the video. That was a crazy pick. So I want to know what y'all think at home, what y'all think of that Lucia pick from Kawano. And what do you think about low tiers beating top tiers? Do you think that it's just a skill level thing? Or do you think that, you know, tier lists do actually matter? Let me know down in the comment section below. Because this was a great set. And this was honestly a bunch of great matches. In general, you had the nice dorsal mirror and all that good stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you thought of today's matches also. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.